we speak through our, yes. our work. And but then it's for us, it's really finished. When we present it, we send it out into the world and that's it. The atmosphere of the new collection is kind of romantic, uh, poetic, um, and it's loosely inspired by childhood memories that we have of uh, Laura Ingalls' Little House on the Prairie and Holly Hobby. Almost every dress is made out of patchwork. Uh, we've been working on the idea of sustainability for a couple of seasons now. We've been elaborating that idea and we've uh, worked on it in, in various ways, using mainly using our archive fabrics, stock archive fabrics. And um, this time we took uh, our archive of fabric swatches that we all put together and um, used to make new dresses out of. These are fabric swatches that are being sent to you by manufacturers when you develop a collection. I do think we always strive to do something new every season, but then we're realistic enough to know that that is not really possible because whatever we do, there is a certain language in um, how we visualize our ideas. When people ask, uh, ask us to describe our work, we tend to say it's graphic baroque. So it's on the one hand uh, very graphic uh, and in a way minimal, and on the other hand very exuberant. So I think we like a certain sense of uh, controlled exuberance. Everything we do is a self-portrait. So I think that period you describe, or probably a longer period, we tried to be uh, designers that we thought we should be in order to achieve um, our goals. We let go of uh, Ready to Wear for Women. Let's say a full collection because we wanted to let go of this very idea that you are able to dress a woman head to toe all for her entire life. That's just not how we look at, at fashion and at our own work. For us, couture is like a laboratory. It's a, a place to experiment, to try out new things, and also be conceptual. For us, it's more of an idea about what fashion could be, or what clothes could be, than a realistic pro proposition. It's not really about dressing uh, a woman in a certain way, it's more of an idea. There are some ideas that just linger, and then at a certain moment it's like, oh, you know, we still always want to do a show with this and this. And then we feel it's time for that idea. So sometimes idea, indeed, there. Uh, they need some time to come to the surface. It's not always necessarily uh, a realistic proposition. Mm. It's more, that's what couture is for in our mind, to perpetuate uh, craftsmanship, but also to show, yeah, to show ideas. You're successful when you have an audience, and this can mean several things. It can mean commercial success, but it can also mean that your work resonates with a group of people. If there's no audience, there's no success. I'm thinking as well about personal success. You can have success, but not feel happy. And then, what does success mean? For us, we really need time to reflect and to analyze and if we don't have that time we can't really produce great work. Even in the most difficult days we never gave up on fashion or we always kept on going because that in the end that is what keeps us going. It's a you know as, as a creative person you can use your creativity to transform.